Hello student, in this video we will be discussing about BSBSC, Vestigial Sideband Suppressor Carrier Modulation. Next modulation scheme is student, Vestigial Sideband Suppressor Carrier Modulation. In the short form, we can also write this is VSBSC. Vestigial Sideband Suppressed Carrier Modulation. What is this Vestigial Sideband Suppressed Carrier Modulation, sir? In the starting, I told that VSBSC we are using in the television for transmission of video signals. The application of VSBS is we are using for transmission of video signals in the television. What are the video signal frequency components, sir? Video signal is having from 0 to 4.5 MHz from DC component to, but the TV transmission will take from 50 Hz to 40, 4.5 MHz. What is the bandwidth of each TV channel, sir? In India, 7 MHz. In India, 7 MHz. US standards, 6 MHz. If you see the Simon Hawking textbook also, communication system by Simon Hawkins, he will give you 6 MHz because he is a North American one. Indian standards, 7 MHz, you have to click. The questions are coming in ESA object to examination. The bandwidth of TV channel, 7 MHz, already previously came. So if you see the textbook 6 means, that is foreign. That is the things what they are asking from the VSBSC. VSBSC, two possible objective questions are there. Where we are using VSBSC, what is the bandwidth of TV channel? In Where we are using VSBSC for transmission of video signals in television, bandwidth of TV channel is 7 MHz. VSBSC is not in the option, then amplitude modulation because VSBSC is one of the variant of AM. Now get back. These are the possible questions. Now see the discussion about the VSBSC. Actually, what is VSBSC, sir? The meaning of vistage or trace, both the same meaning. In the general spectrum of AM, I give a brief introduction about the VSBSC. In VSBSC, what we are doing is students, we are taking majority of one sideband, almost 75%. And the remaining trace we are taking in the other side band. Why it came and what is the significance or the practical thing of this VSBSC, how it is coming into existence, let's see. Coming to the video signals, video signals are having frequencies up to 4.5 MHz. So let me write video signals. Bandwidth from 0 to 4.5 MHz. Now, I already shown that we cannot generate the video signals by using SSBSC modulation. Why practical difficulty of the filters I shown. 0 to 4.5 means no gap between the upper and the lower sideband. We need ideal filters, exact sharp cut of frequency, practically not possible. So that's why. By using SSB, we can transmit only voice, even for audio also not possible, because only a gap of 40H. In case of video, no gap, ideal filter needed, which is practically not possible. Now, SSBS is not possible means, what are the remaining options we are having students? Either AM or DSB, we can generate. DSB, SC, my meaning of DSB means. DSB, SC. If it is a, DSB FC, DSB full carrier means AM only. In case of DSB FC, I will clearly write. DSB means DSB SC only. Yes, we can generate the video signal for, video signals means we can generate the modu modulated, modulated signal for video signals by using either AM or DSB. That is okay. But if you are using AM or DSB SC modulation, what is the bandwidth, sir? Bandwidth is 2 mega m. Bandwidth is 2 mega m. So 2 times, so bandwidth is 2 mega m. 2 times 4.5 means almost 9 mega h, which is a huge value. 
later god pen coloring all those things will increase so that's why we developed a one compromising method which is a compromising between dsb and ssb which will take the bandwidth less than dsb and slightly more than the ssb which is that modulation technique is nothing but vsbsc the generation demodulation of vsb is same as ssb but in ssb what method we are using filter method or frequency discrimination method in frequency discrimination method band pass filter is there that band pass filter we are slightly making the modifications that filter itself is called vestigial sideband filter or we can also call them as a sideband shaping filter students so the band pass filters we are making a small modifications what is the modification the waveform i will show you so finally it is a compromising technique between ssb and dsb bandwidth of vsb slightly greater than ssb and less than the dsb especially for the video signals because by using am and dsb the bandwidths are becoming very very large understanding my point or not first we will see the vsb transmitter coming to the vsb transmitter the same as the ssb transmitter means ssb modulator what is that frequency discrimination method what is the frequency discrimination method sir first we are having a balanced modulator we are having balanced modulator means what we are generating student we are generating the dsbsc signal what are the inputs one is a message another one is a carrier which is nothing but c of t of course we'll use the carrier cos 2 pi epsilon the common thing both are given to dsb uh, dsbsc modulator of course balanced modulator what you will get dsbsc signal from the from this dsbsc how we are getting our vsbsc signal sir by using side band shaping filters the side band shaping filter are also called as vsbsc filters what is that we will see output is nothing much we already know our vsbsc signal how it is getting our vsb signal what is its side band shaping filters let's see students now here what is the what we are transmitting transmitting is nothing but the video signal are you getting or not now what is the video signal bandwidth sir 0 to 4.5 let's draw the spectrum of a video signal here our m of t is nothing but a student video signal from where to where sir almost from 0 to 4.5 megahertz from where sir 0 to 4.5 megahertz and 4.5 let's take our omega m same will be 0 to minus 4.5 that is minus omega first what we are doing sir we are generating the dsbsc signal sir what is a dsbsc spectrum sir the dsbsc signal spectrum means am spectrum same this uh, message signal spectrum is shifted to fc as well as minus fc sir means write the same m of t at fc at the same at minus f upper lower same lower upper side bands no there is no additional carrier now let's see what is the characteristics of the side band shaping filter now see ssb means exactly we have to separate one side band there is no gap between upper and lower ideal filters practically not possible so what we are doing let's see anyhow this value will be fc plus omega m this value will be fc minus omega m 
same will be the negative side minus fc minus or minus plus omega m minus fc minus omega m. Now see the filter characteristics which is nothing but our h of f means the sideband shaping filter characteristics I am drawing. Now suppose I am designing the VSBSC majorly for upper sideband. Let's take VSB means I told most of the information in one sideband, remaining will be in the other sideband. Are you following my point? Up? So, where from the VSB, see VSBSC from sorry, upper sideband from this way, FC to FC plus omega. Is it possible to design the filter of like sharp cut off frequency? Practically not. Are you getting my point? So, this is of course FC plus omega m and this is FC. How we are doing is we are designing the filter of like this sharp cut off frequency rather than we are designing like this. Like falling character 6 we are designing. Is it possible, sir, to design the filter with the following character 6? Yes, practically possible, but exactly is not possible. Are you understand my point? Now see the output. Now output of the filter, of course, VSBSC signal, how it is coming is C. Of course, same thing will also be in the negative side. And if you clearly observe there, this value is nothing but a student's Fc. This value is nothing but Fc plus omega m. And this is nothing but Fc minus Fb. And here, this value is nothing but Fc plus Fb. What is this FB, sir? And how much we are adding in other sideband? How much we are losing in one sideband? That is nothing but a vestigial band. That is nothing but a trace. The requirement in designing the filter is, sir, what is the amount of information we are losing in one sideband that will be compensated in other sideband? Now, if this is the characteristics, how the output is coming, let's see. So, from here to here, we are taking entire sideband. Later, see the falling characteristics. This is the falling characteristics. Actually, what is the upper sideband, sir? I am writing with the dotted ones, with the black color one. That is the actual upper sideband. Are you getting my point or not? Still, if you are not understand, let's see. The red color one dots will be the actual upper side band, red one. But what we are taking this black color ones. Why we got like that? Because like sharp cut off frequency, designing of the filter is not possible. So we are taking the following characteristics. How much information we are losing here? In upper side band that will be compensated in the LSP. That is a requirement in designing the filter. Are you following my point or not? Now try to observe. What is the bandwidth, sir? Bandwidth is nothing but see from here to here is omega m that is slight value of Fe we are using. So bandwidth is nothing but omega m plus Fb. Of course. Uh, here omega m is not a radiance normal value only versus f only. So there you need to understand that the bandwidth is slightly greater than SSB but less than the DSB or AM. So all of you understand the point only the adjustment in that filter that is nothing but a side band shaping filter we are able to get the signal. Clear? 